What would your startup business do with $125,000? According to Crunchbase, less than 3% of venture capital raised since 2015 has gone to black or Latino founders. It is, it's a disparity facing women and LGBTQIA plus leaders as well. But there is a new program aimed at helping startups led by these underrepresented founders. So joining us with the details is Ladapia Drain. She's a director of diversity, equity, and inclusion for Amazon Web Services. So we're excited to have you here today, Ladavia. Uh, what is AWS announcing? So we're announcing the AWS Impact Accelerator Program. This is an eight week program in order to help our black, Latinx, um, LGBTQ plus and women founders and their startups succeed and thrive. And why is this program so important to Amazon? Yeah, well, it's important because of equity. Mm -hmm. it, it just making sure that we do our part to help these underrepresented founders actually have access to a level playing field so that they can be just as successful as anyone else in launching and maintaining and sustaining their startups. Right. So why would you say is founding a startup such an attractive idea right now? Yeah, well, you know, we're coming out of a pandemic, hopefully, uh, and uh, entrepreneurship is on the rise. You know, people have been at home, isolated, um, but also dreaming big, thinking of ways that they can change the world. And so there, I think we, we, we've we now birthed a lot of entrepreneurs who mm -hmm. could use funding, could use resources in order to help them be successful. What do you hope startups get from this eight week program? Yeah, so, well, number one, uh, I, I, I hope that they do find that now they have access to technology that some of the largest companies have access to. Um, I also want to I want to ensure that they have the cash that they need um, to to, to kind of keep things going or get things going. Um, and then also the resources, the networking, the training, um, all of the curriculum, all of those types of things. All right. Well, how can people get involved then if they're ready to create a startup? Yeah, well, I'll say if they go on our website to apply, um, just look at the criteria. So we're looking for pre-seed uh, stage of funding. We're looking for um, US-based uh, startups um, don't have to be uh, necessarily technical, can also be non-tech. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking for folks that are already using some type of tech-enabled solution. Um, and they should just jump on our website, apply. If this program doesn't work while you're on the website, look at other programs that you may be able to have access to. All right, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for telling us all about it today. And if you'd like to see this segment again, maybe you're interested in founding a startup, just head over to firstcoastliving.net.